My friends, it's love reading time, random love reading time. We're just going to see whatever spirit wants you to know about what's coming in love for you. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to cut the deck though. So let's cut the deck and we'll just peek. Oh, we have some nostalgia memories. Um, stars aligning, wish fulfillment. Interesting. So we'll have to see what that means for you. Um, I don't know how long this reading is going to be, but let's get into it. So we're going to start with what's coming. Well, I mean, we're just going to start with these cards to see what's coming towards you in love. So let's go. We have forgiveness. <gasps> what? Could be dealing with a water sign. Right off the get-go, we have communication. First of all, we have longing. Six of Cups energy, missing you on their mind, time apart. And then we have communication. So right off the get-go, your person's reaching out. And we have forgiveness. They want forgiveness. They have good intentions. So the card says, good intentions. So whoever this is, they have the best intentions here coming forward and communicating with you. Perhaps for some of you, you've already heard from this person. Um, I want to say, one thing I wanted to mention the other day is about gratitude and sometimes our manifestations come in forms that we weren't expecting. Like sometimes they turn out, the recipe turns out a little different, you know? And I see it, you know, in my comment section and I actually learn a lot from my comment section. I like think about the lessons from it. And one thing I learned is that I see people say like, my person came back, but they did not say what I wanted them to say. And they didn't tell me that they loved me. They said this, but I don't know. I was expecting more. And again, not saying it to judge you. I used to be like that. I am like that. But there's something about showing gratitude for things and being thankful for these small moments that make you open to more of them. So like, let's say your guides are like, well, we're gonna make your person reach out today. So go ahead, person, reach out. And then they reach out to you and you were like, oh, I'm not happy with what they said. They didn't say enough. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. I can't believe they didn't say this. That's showing the universe that you're still trying to control your manifestation. You're still trying to you know, you have those expectations there. And one thing about gratitude is to be grateful that they even reached out in the first place because that's the first start. Not everybody, that's the first step. Not everybody comes charging in the door, emperor energy. This is what I want. I'm going to make it up to you. Some of them stick their toe in the door and say, am I allowed in here? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Are you going to hurt me? <laughs> so we need to practice gratitude for some of these things, even if they don't come in the shape that we wanted them to or the way we wanted them to, you know? Anyway, let's keep going. I ranted on that for a reason. So we do have a water sign here, which is also symbolic to me of the Ace of Cups in this deck. Um, <clears throat> and we have yes, go for it. And truth, holy cow! So Spirit's saying, this person has good intentions, so let's keep going. So we have communication, longing, and forgiveness. All of these cards, and those are the ones that came out. I'm not surprised. We have keep going, don't stop, you're almost there, home. And we have that nostalgia here, Six of Cups energy. So... What's really interesting is this person could be coming in, like I said, kind of scared. And there's a card on the bottom that says everything is not as it seems. So just hear them out. Um, we do have keep going. So don't give up if you're one of those people who feel like you're delusional. You need to release that mindset. You, you need to stop saying you're delusional. Just like I need to stop saying that I'm crazy. Um, you know, that's negative reinforcement. So anytime... You feel like commenting that you're delusional? Comment that you're not delusional. If you want to start like that, baby steps. Start by saying that you're not delusional. Just throw a not in there. You don't even have to believe it. Just say not delusional. Just throw it in there and change your way of thinking. <laughs> um, anyway. 
those can be blockages, you know, when we don't believe we can make it up that mountain, when we, when we think I'm delusional, there's no ledge there where I can crawl up. This is just an uphill mountain forever. Um, you're not delusional. I just wanted to say it. We also have homes, so you could be nesting right now. And you know what that means? <laughs> that means somebody's coming. Anytime you start nesting, it doesn't just mean, it doesn't just have to mean that you have company or a baby. If you start subconsciously nesting and organizing and getting ready for, I don't know what, there's a reason. Maybe you used to share a home with this person, but I don't know. All I'm getting is communication and forgiveness and that you can trust this person. That's all we're getting so far. This person has spent a lot of time thinking about you. What the heck? This person has spent so much time thinking about you with the Six of Cups energy that came out before. I feel like they were playing messages. Um, we have true love, divine union. Gross. Yes. Yes. So this is why spirit is saying you can trust this is because this is someone who's grown just like you've grown. Um, this is like self-development. So perhaps the two of you had to grow and evolve before coming into union. Anyway, I feel like this is someone who's realized that you are their true love. You know, I could even, I can even hear them saying something like that. Like, I don't believe in, uh, I've never believed in soulmates, but I can't explain this, you know. So let's see what else you need to hear before we get tarot. And look, look. The tarot deck that I chose for you is one that I don't use very much anymore. I used to use it. It was like my second favorite deck, so I used it all the time in like every personal reading. And look at looky what we have here. <laughs> we have the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So it feels like there's a love offer coming in. <laughs> don't stop. You're almost there. It could happen right now. <laughs> Believe it. Visualize it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm here to cheer you on. <laughs> okay, so we have Sneaky coming out in reverse. So, Sneaky in reverse is Seven of Swords energy in reverse, which is the end of manipulation, the end of ghosting, the end of running. So this person could have done some of those things. Maybe they just denied this connection. And we have Spying. They're watching you. They could be wondering if you have other options. We have choices here, different options. So it feels like they're looking at you online trying to figure out if you have anyone else in your energy right now. Um, perhaps there was, you know, there could have been a karmic on your side or their side, doesn't have to be. But this is someone who's coming out of that energy, seven of swords in reverse, very good. I like it, I approve, I approve. Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. <laughs> we have fear. So this is someone who has fear about coming towards you. They could have had fear about the intent. Mm -hmm. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to keep those right there for a minute. They could have had fear about commitment. Maybe that's why they ran. Um, but this is someone who's been healing. We have the judgment card here. Difficult self-truths, acknowledgement, inner work. So this is someone who's maybe lower vibrational energy pushed them into this awakening. You know, this is someone who spent some time healing since the last time you were with them or talking to them. Maybe you weren't even with this person. Maybe it was a situation ship. We have distance. So you could be at a distance from this person or just this person has fear about healing however much time and the things that have happened they have fear about healing that like will you forgive them um it feels to me like they don't care whether you forgive them or not they're coming anyway so it's not like if they knew you would forgive them it would make it easier they're coming in anyway is what i'm hearing they're just worried that you won't hear them out we have fresh start and commitment New beginning, start over from square one. So I can see this person saying, you know, let's start again. You know that corny thing when people are like, let's start over. Okay. Hi, I'm Kelly. <laughs> like we've never met before. <laughs> I know it's symbolic. <laughs> 
I know it's supposed to be symbolic, <laughs> but can people really do that? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> History erased. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm being called to just get two more before I go to tarot, which is weird. Uh, music could be symbolic. We have music on the bottom. So maybe even this person communicates through music. Maybe you're hearing songs. Listen, earlier I put on, right before I did this reading, I was listening to music and I put on Happy Beats, which is like dance music, which is something I never used to listen to, but it's just, it's fun. It raises my vibration. It makes me dance. <laughs> anyway, I put on Happy Beats, which is all like dance music. And the first song played, it was like a remix with a bit of Tom's Diner in it. Um, if you know that song, I love that song. Um, anyway, <laughs> but it's like a remix version. So it's like really quick. And then another start song started playing. That's very symbolic to my journey. That was not in my queue and not on that list. So explain that to me. And then the next song was a happy beat dance song. Someone please explain that to me. So this song started playing randomly. That wasn't a happy beat song. And I was like, Immediately, I was like, what is, like, what? It sounded like a message. That's what I mean. Music through, messages through music. That's what I mean when I say that. Those of you who know, if you know, you know. <laughs> or whatever it is that people say. <laughs> I'm so lame. <clears throat> we have perspective. They have a new perspective of this. And they're going to show you a new perspective of them. Look, improved, glow up, awakened, so they could have spiritually awakened. Somebody asked me what a glow up meant. Um, a glow up is when you evolve, you know, you go through a change, you have a makeover. I don't believe it's just that easy as like a materialistic makeover. I'm not, no, it has to do with energy and confidence. And sometimes when you like empower yourself and you don't put up with, less and you stand in your power it empowers you to go through a glow up an improvement um and it it really is about energy I can remember times where I went through glow ups and people were like oh my gosh you look amazing and I'd be like what I look like shit what are you talking about I feel like shit I'm tired don't look at me <laughs> I used to hate people looking at me which is hilarious um I still hate it I just pretend that it's not happening um, but I feel like this is someone who's been through a change and you're going to see a new perspective of them. They're going to look different. And look, we have regret. So they're coming in with regret for whatever they did in the past. Could have been some type of karma, past actions. They're coming in improved. We had all the beautiful like healing, difficult self-truths, um, self-growth, awareness, forgiveness. All right. Spirit's telling me to stop it. <laughs> stop with that deck. <laughs> so let's get tarot. Like I said, we have two of cups right away on the bottom, which is beautiful energy. And we're going to see. Let's look at this um, communication that's coming in. I can't. I can't. It's just, it's too much. <laughs> I said, let's look at this communication coming in. Page of Swords, bam, like right away, poof. Um, that's communication. Now, remember that spying card. Somebody watching you, keeping tabs on you, trying to figure out, are you happy without them? You know, is today a good day to reach out? You know, how's their mood on Instagram or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have Instagram, clearly. <laughs> Um, I don't even know how to use Facebook, if I'm being honest. Um, it does tell me that this person has something they want to say. Page of Swords, they may not be ready to say it. Maybe there's a delay because they're still thinking about this. But I think this is someone who's looking for a sign, you know, for a day when you post something that maybe has to do with them. Um... Or you post something about being single. It's like they're keeping an eye, waiting to make the right move. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. We also have, look, online, six of wands. 
we have the world. So it feels like this is someone who wants closure here, who wants to complete a cycle, to end a pattern, and to close the distance. So let's see who this person is. Let's see who this person is. Who is this? We have Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. So um, temperance, it could be someone who, it's weird, I almost started talking about how patient this person is, but I was told, nope, not that one. <laughs> um, I'm hearing inconsistent, I'm hearing in and out, I'm hearing one foot in, one foot out. This person, remember what I said, for some of you, they're not going to come in all guns ablazing. here I am. I'm hot stuff, I'm ready to conquer you or whatever. Some of them are going to come in with their toe in the door. Temperance, foot in the door. You know, um, this could be someone who maybe you were, I don't know why I'm hearing this, maybe you were a water sign and they were a fire sign. Maybe there was a lot of intense energy between you and then a lot of emotion. Um, this is someone who I feel you've been patient with is what I'm hearing. Let's see what else. You could have had a false start with this person, the sun, divine masculine energy. You could have had a false start with this person that never amounted into anything. And this could have been a person that needed to heal, you know, they could have been in distorted masculine energy. We do have the chariot, so they're coming towards you wanting to take action, wanting to bring clarity to this. Let's see how they're feeling about you. How are they feeling about you? Okay. Ay, ay, ay. New outlook, new perspective, which is what was coming out in those other cards, which I like to see. So how they're feeling about you right now, new outlook on you. You know, they're having realizations about this. New perspective about this connection and possibly how much they were giving it. We do have Five of Swords and Ten of Pentacles, so to me it feels like this person feels regret for their past actions like we were seeing, and that I feel like they are feeling like they may have sabotaged something that could have been very long-term and very stable, because perhaps they didn't appreciate you, you know? Um... It's interesting because we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is that watching you glow up energy that I was talking about. So perhaps for some of you, they may feel like there's already somebody else offering you what you deserve. Um, but we'll see. Let's get another one for how they're feeling about you. You have options. I told you. They feel like you have options. Seven of Cups. So they feel like you have other options and that... You know, to me, they know how they feel about you now. You know, they've made a decision. They've made their choice. They know which cup they want. We have four of wands here. So this person does feel commitment energy with you. You know, they feel happiness with you. They feel free with you. And it feels to me, I keep getting that they see this very clearly. That they want, remember that union card, divine union. Let's see how you're feeling about them. Look at that. The sun and the moon, divine feminine, divine masculine. So you could be feeling delusional. You could, um, was that this one that I went on the rant about? Yeah, <laughs> they all blend together. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I'll start ranting in one reading and then like three hours later, I'll continue in a different one thinking that it's the same one. Um, <clears throat> my throat, um, the moon, you feel an intuitive connection with this person, but for, I think for some of you, you sometimes wonder if you're delusional. I think that your ego may be a shadow here, you know, we have the king of swords. So it feels like, you know, you want truth and honesty from this person. You, you know, you hope that in separation, this person is gaining clarity, eight of cups. So for some of you, you know, you feel like this person maybe has to, maybe they have to walk away from someone else or some type of behavior. 
Um, it could be that you're hoping that by walking away from them, it brought them clarity. That's all right. So let's look at their intentions. Although I already know, I already know. Could be the one. Hello, <laughs> divine union. Hello, where is that card? Commitment. I'll put that in there. Where is it? True love. True love. <laughs> mm -hmm. Intentions. This is how the energy feels between you. Like, could you rip each other's clothes off or what? That's what it feels like. Like this person intends to rip your clothes off. Um, but also it feels like this very intense, can't get enough of each other energy. I'm hearing I just can't get enough. Music. Symbolic. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. <laughs> There's also that song, sometimes the lyrics cross paths in my head and don't make sense, but there's also that I can't get enough of you. I can't get enough of you, baby. That song, I can't get enough of you, baby. Anyway, I wish I knew the words better, but their intentions to choose a direction and come towards you to make that move. Two of wands on the bottom, ace of cups. There it is, the ace of cups I told you on the bottom. It's someone making their move. Not Ace of Cups on the bottom, Ace of Cups in the, the water sign card that came out. Anyway, intentions, lovers, chariot, come towards you. <laughs> I knew it. High Priestess and Wish Fulfillment. So their intentions are to follow their intuition and their heart, which is so beautiful and connected. Um, that is beautiful. Look at these major arcanas. So their intentions, big intentions, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to ask me permission to marry you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm not because I saw commitment. So they could be like they're serious, serious intentions. And spirit's saying, yes, go for it. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Am I going to get a message from this person? Do I have your permission to marry you? <laughs> so-and-so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, let's see their next actions. We have page of pentacles. There it is. There's the offer. Could be a proposal. I need to get... <laughs> we have the world. So we see this person wanting to bring closure and that cycle. That's what I saw. Actually, this is what they're doing. So they intend to complete the cycle. They intend to bridge the gap I'm hearing. Perhaps travel towards you, six of wands. Um, they could be reaching out on social media, but this is, you know, this is victory and success. This is public recognition. So this person's actions seem to be, they could make a very big um, gesture. Is that the word, romantic gesture? They could be one of those people that makes a big romantic gesture. I'm being called to, if you've ever watched Superstore, where Bo, I think, has dancers come in when he proposes to Cheyenne. Anyway, um, look at this. We have Six of Cups for their actions, reconnection, communication, reaching out to you, wanting a second chance, wanting forgiveness. We have Page of Pentacles, stable offer. That's the apology, probably. The Page of Pentacles, the apology, the seed that gets this going, the start of whatever comes next. And we have Seven of Swords in reverse, which we saw in the white card, sneaky in reverse, which is beautiful. Confirmation. Um, I want to ask specifically about... What is this phone call about? Page of Cups, an apology. Mm -hmm. Resolution, Five of Wands in reverse. Magician. So very interesting. Apology, this person communicating. The magician in itself is communication. It's using their power for the right reasons. Look at this offer they're coming in with. 
Um, and page of cups, there's that nervous apology. Like I said, for some of you, it's going to come in and it's going to be, oh, like, oh, hi. I was just thinking about you the other day. Or I saw your sister and I thought of you, so I thought I'd say hi. Or I saw you post that thing on social media. It'll be small for some of you. Others of you, it's going to be like that, you know? It's going to be this person offering you infinity or they're offering you something huge. You know, they're offering you change. It's going to differ for all of you. So let's see advice about this connection. Ten of Cups. It's coming. Keep going. Don't give up. Ten of Cups. This, you have the ability, not you. This has the ability to be emotional fulfillment. Um, we also have, look, hanged man in reverse, new perspective. Yes. And this is that reconnection energy. Remember I was talking about a gesture, knight of cups, romantic gesture, you know? So for some of you, maybe they do make some kind of public declaration about this. You know, maybe they stand up at work and say, I've decided that I'm still in love with you <laughs> or whatever they say. Um, yeah, hanged man in reverse. So you're going to be seeing a new side and look, rekindling energy, my friends. So let's see far future, far future energy. The Empress! Yay! <laughs> baby? For some of you, could be a baby. You could have a baby with this person if you want to, if you're, you know, of childbearing age or whatever. Even if society says you're not, maybe you still want to try anyway. You do you. <laughs> you do you, boo. Um, but that shows a healthy connection. That shows, you know, nurturing, possibly even having kids together. Beautiful for far future energy. You're looking very nice. <laughs> we also have, this is amazing. We have public, being publicly recognized as a couple, six of wands. And we have healing and getting back together, forgiveness, beautiful. So that apology does come. Ah! Ah! Da, da, da. The magic of these cards, that apology does come. And look, two of cups, right? We've gone for full circle, full circle by Christina Aguilera and somebody else could be symbolic. Is it full circle that she sings or is it a different one? Anyway. That's going to bug me. <laughs> but look at this. We have the two of cups, the deepening of intimacy, the two of you grabbing each other's tushes, or maybe just one, maybe one of you, maybe somebody likes somebody's bum here. Um, I see a bum squeeze, but we see getting back together, 10 of swords in reverse. Beautiful. I love it. Justice. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So let's just get you a few more cards just to, you know, really convince you that you're not delusional. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up these tarot cards because if I don't do it now, it won't get done until tomorrow. <laughs> and then I'll look at my desk and I'll be like, ooh, I don't want to go do a reading when my desk looks like that. So... Let's see what, I want to see this one. We have love, emotional fulfillment on the bottom. How nice. We have twin flame, higher love. Bring me a higher love. <laughs> mm, interesting, twin flame right away. I just want to see if anything... Any confirming messages come out because I know that helps some people believe in the magic of it all. We have moon, dreams, intuition, progress, connected with feelings and emotions, inspiration, fantasies, emotional soul. And we have, interesting, someone from your past coming back. Someone you had possibly an unexpected ending with who's been through a transformation and we see you listening to your intuition, something that you intuitively knew was coming back. I just heard coming back someone from your past. So let's see what else comes out. I'm just going to peek at what that was. 
crystals. Maybe some. Maybe they're giving you a crystal if they know you're into crystals. We have crossroads, decision, path, choice, options. So it does feel like lover's energy. There's a choice to be made here. Do you want to walk down that path again with this person? I think that they're showing a new side. It looks like they've changed. We also have travel and relocate. And remember, you and this person could be at a distance from each other. So it's possible this person even, you know, says they're moving closer to you. Anyway. <clears throat> There it is, the one that was on the bottom. What am I hearing? It's a movie about breaking a spell. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What movie is that? She has come to break the spell. She is the one we have been waiting for. What is that from? Anyway, that's what I just heard for some reason. I think it's a Disney movie. I just can't think of what one it is. They're waiting for someone to come break the spell. What I'm seeing is, remember in the olden days when they showed promos? <laughs> Hang on. I just had to sit there and let my Rolodex or whatever it is in my brain go through its thing without you staring at me. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. That's what I was hearing. I was hearing, um, I didn't look it up. I just had to sit here and think about it for a minute. I started hearing someone French and then I saw Lumiere. <laughs> the one who has come to break the spell. Beauty and the Beast could be symbolic. Again, I don't know why I heard that. But I don't believe in accidents. We have heart. Ooh. Love, romance, happiness, lover, feelings, emotions, optimism, heart, joy of life, passion, connection, fulfillment, Cupid. Jack of hearts, which I believe is the, would be, would the jack be the page? How does that work? Is the jack the page? Anyway. <clears throat> Communication, I told you. I fucking told you. <laughs> I told you. Thoughts, windfall, sex, <laughs> phone call, date, communication, conversations, intuition, messages. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Wish fulfillment, which was the first white card I saw. Wish fulfillment, remember? Wish fulfillment, good omen, success, purpose, new beginning. Dreams, progress, hope, spirituality, optimism, soul connection, universe. And when they come back, you'll be a believer too. <laughs> we have inner child, younger person, birth. Starting over. Beautiful. Fresh start. Again, for some of you, you could end up having a baby with this person. One more. One more. Two more. <gasps> You got the penguins and the swans. The penguins, symbolic of soulmates. The swans, symbolic of counterparts. Love, romance, happiness, lover, feelings, emotions. Same of the same other, the some of the same words that were on the other card. So I'm not repeating them. And we have the kiss. <laughs> love, romance, affection, romantic love, deep feelings, reunion. <laughs> I told you. Reunion, reunited. <laughs> And it feels so good. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> Let's get one of these. I'm just going to stay here and vibe off your happiness all day. <laughs> we have love! What? 17 wish fulfillment when it comes to love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in this connection. Beautiful! I told you. <laughs> Interesting. We have snake on the bottom. So perhaps this person was deceitful because there was a snake on that deceitful card in reverse. But I'm going to get you one more. Love. Flowers. Gift. Fire. Renewal. Oh my gosh. Look. Fire. Renewal. Ten. 
embrace the renewal of the present star hard times are over oh my gosh this is 29 which equals 11 look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity and look flowers 11 11 11 <laughs> that is magical so maybe your person is sending you flowers maybe that's a little toe in the door to get them going maybe they send you surprise flowers on your birthday or something but we do have happiness coming at you. Look, plane travel. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. I won't be here tomorrow, but I'll be back Monday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I love you. Bye. And I love you the most. <laughs> if you're still here and you saw that, lucky you. <laughs>